Good day, wonderful learners. Today we shall be discussing about forms of agriculture. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to explain forms of agriculture, list at least five forms of agriculture, explain at least four forms of agriculture. Forms of agriculture. The forms of agriculture involve farming, and farming is the center of activity where land is cultivated for the production of either plants or animals or boats. The forms of agriculture practice in an area depend on the size of the farm, purpose, availability of land, the type of soil in the area, topography of the land, and the prevailing climatic condition. The first one we have crop farming. A crop is a plant grown for specific purpose. Crop farming therefore involves the cultivation of land for production of useful crops for the benefit of man. Crops that may be planted are maize, cowpea, yam, cocoyam, ground or soya beans, tomato, pepper, okra, sorghum and some perennial crops. We have the livestock farming. This is a system of keeping or rearing different farm animals for different purposes. Animals commonly kept include cattle, poultry, sheep, goats, pigs, and many more. Livestock farming may be settled, that is ranching, or unsettled, nomadic herding. Fish farming. This is a special area of agriculture which deals with the production and management of fish and other aquatic animals of agricultural importance. Such animals include lobsters, squid, streams, crayfish, oysters, prawn, periwinkles, and crabs. These animals are rich sources of protein. Horticulture. This is the cultivation of fruits, vegetable, and ornamental plants. It is a special branch of crop science. Fruits and vegetables grown by horticulturists include citrus, papaw, mango, guava, cashew, pineapple, plantain, garden egg, tomato, lettuce, cabbage, pumpkin, cucumber, cashew, and banana. While ornamental Plants grown are hibiscus, croton, rose flowers, zinnia, hyacinth, iris, lily. Ornamental crops are used for beautifying our surroundings. We have the bee farming. Apiculture or bee farming is a process of deliberately keeping or culturing bees in the wooden boxes or heaps for different reasons. Importance of bee farming. Bees are pollinators of crops, and this is important for genetic stability. Bees are kept for honey, bee wax, pollen, and propolis, which are used for food, medicine, or manufacturing other products. The social life of honey bee colony provides a strong basis for the study of the structures of societies. Bees are used for research and education. The next one is snail farming or heliculture. Snails are invertebrates with soft bodies that are covered with hard calcareous shells. They belong to the phylum called mollusca. Heliculture, commonly known as snail farming, is a process of raising land snails specifically for human use, either to use their flesh as edible escargot or more recently to obtain snail slime for use in cosmetics or snail eggs for human consumption as a type of carvier. Importance of snail farming 
Number one, a source of protein. Snail meat has high protein of about 37% to 51%. It contains almost all the essential amino acids. Sources of iron. Snails have as the iron content of snail is 45 to 59 milligram or kilogram. This is high. This high iron content is considered in the treatment of anemia. Snail can also be used for treatment of different ailments. Snail can be used for treatment of whooping cough, ulcers, asthma, high blood pressure, constipation, poor eyesight, and pile. The shell of snail contains phosphorus and calcium, and it can be crushed for the preparation of animal feed. Assessment List five forms of agriculture you know. Explain any three forms of agriculture listed in one above. List two importance of bee farming.